CBS Sports Radio 1450, the Hall Average Joe Show 2.0. Before we get to our next guest, Michael Buster McMahon is tapping me on the. He's like almost riding me off of this mic here, Buster. What the hell's so important? We've got a, we've got a, we've got a killer in our midst. Oh, we got so many callers, we can't get to all of them. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Dougie. Uh, this kid's amazing. He's ten years old. He's a future sports guy. He uh, he could easily take one of our jobs and probably work for Peanuts. He can have but it. it's but real let, easy now. Let me tell you something. Uh, he can probably get a, a much higher paying job than this kid can do the uh, Rubik's cube in like forty five seconds. Wow. No, I'm no no exaggeration. This thing's amazing. So, uh, Doug, thanks for listening. And I know you'll succeed at whatever you decide to do. It's really sweet, man. Yeah, we're getting a lot of goodbye calls today, and we appreciate you. Right now, though, I want to say hello to our next guest in the studio. His name is Vinny DeJesus. His properly Vinicius DeJesus, which is one of the great names in all of sports. He's a mixed martial artist who I've watched on video a number of times. I've seen him in person a number of times. Most recently was at PFC 18 in November um, over at the Mass Mutual Center. Vinny DeJesus is going to be fighting as part of the card next week, February 20th. Um, at Shea Joseph in Aguam. A real interesting guy, too, um, from Porto Alegre City in, in Brazil, moved to the U.S. two years ago. He's been fighting pro and mixed martial arts for four years now, um, and, and his story is really just a fascinating one. So, Vinny, w- welcome to the program, my friend. It's great to be talking to you without you with an egg under your eye as you're walking by me on Press Row. Thanks. Thanks so much, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm so excited for... For the next week, uh, my training come very, very hard for this guy. Um, I fight, I fight pro like almost four years. Yeah, yeah. And I think right now is a big challenge for me. Well, you uh, said you've been fighting pro for four years, so let me ask that because yeah. uh, fighting pro for four years is as the first lady of mixed martial arts in the Northeast, Karen Wesh walks in. We'll get to her in a moment. Obviously, PFC nineteen is her baby. February twentieth, the premier fighting championship will be taking place uh, at Shea Joseph in Agawam, one seventy six Shoemaker Lane. Four years ago, you decided to make the leap from the amateur to uh, to the pro level, but you've been training for this. You know, you're in your mid twenties for half of your life. You, you, your yeah. father's your coach. You're a boxer. Uh, and, and, you know, you've been working on striking for a long time. Was this pro move, has this always been in the cards for you? It was just a matter of the right timing? We we always looking for for making the change. Like when I'm young, like eight, 80 years old. Eight uh, years old, I yeah, love my, this. My, 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 my father, uh, he wanted to, to jump for MMA. But in Brazil, in that time, uh, the MMA is now like legal. Sure. You know, just makes like make uh, <laughs> famous people outside from Brazil. Sure. So soon the the country make MMA legal and start to make a good promotion like for see good the show we think okay I think now we have the floor perfect for jump inside yeah, yeah. so soon this this the change in my country I looking for place for training, training for real training, huh for real and I my first academy in Brazil for MMA is a boxer MMA okay so but I come from another schools, from my father, uh-huh. boxing. I trained box like for almost 13 years. And also jiu-jitsu, Brazilian mm-hmm. jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always say my, my master in jiu-jitsu is my stepfather. Uh, because, really? Yes. You know, awesome. I, I meet him with 12 years, and he always on my side. So <laughs> I always say, ah, he's my, my second father. <laughs> so, so, Vinny, when you, have a, when you have a boxing background, you said 13 years, and then you take on jiu-jitsu after that, yeah. what's the transition like? Is it, is it something where, like, like, I used to play racquetball and tennis, and my <laughs> my well no listen right, my tennis my tennis it's swing would <laughs> my tennis swing would mess up my my racquetball swing it's two different swings so was there something that you had to get out of your head like a stance it's or, sort of like Tony likes to eat frozen pizza sometimes it's actually a good analogy <laughs> and you, then he orders out yeah, and it's the different taste right you Tony, know what I mean right you, I, I, you guys I, are no, gonna get us canceled knock it off here uh, I got it I got it. Uh, <laughs> The transition for me uh, in the first six months difficult because yep. I need to learn how how transition striking for take down mm-hmm. and you got this motion is a little difficult for anybody start training MMA but soon soon I soon I I got the transition mm-hmm. everybody my 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 team say Ah oh, Vinny you have a good transition for take downs mm-hmm. because soon I learn. How punch and drop for takedown, my style starts to be much better. Awesome. Now, Vinny, uh, coming from uh, Brazil and you're up here and you've got this really cool accent, uh, 
Do, are, are you using this thing uh, fairly, this accent? Are you just purposely making American women swoon? Are you just purposely talking <laughs> to them just to, just to see their reaction? Like, where do they get, where do they get a load of, of this here now? I don't know. <laughs> on, uh, American women aren't eating this accent up? You know, it's different. It's different. Uh, the American women is, is different than Brazil. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you What do you miss most about Brazil? You haven't uh, been there in a while. The nude beaches. I, I, I can't say not nothing this because my wife probably she. Oh. <laughs> Smart uh, man. Maybe the Jesus is a friend of ours. That's all we're gonna say. No, no, he's a friend of ours. Uh, so again, Vinny de Jesus. You can see him as part of the pro card at PFC. Uh, PFC 19, which is February 20th in nine days um, at Shea Joseph in Agawam. Uh, tickets, uh, can you can get them at thepremierfc.com. Doors open at 545. Fight starts at 7. I want to go back a couple of years yeah. to a video that I watched mm, probably a hundred times. A hundred times. It's, Vinicius versus Anderson Silva. <laughs> yes, Anderson Silva, who's a legend in your profession, yeah, I wa I've watched a video, and I, I had our, our interns. Alex is in here right now. Mm -hmm. I had the other intern, Nick, out there watching you knock the snot out of Anderson Silva in about 24 seconds. Yeah, but I think uh, just for be clean, uh, yes. Anderson Silva is just the name of the athlete. He's not the Spider-Man Anderson Silva. Sometimes I got mistakes about that. Uh, so, anyway... I knocked out Anderson Silva. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, would, so, I would wear that everywhere. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> soon this video uh, jumped for YouTube. Uh, so much people want to watch because the names <laughs> I have, Vinic Vinicius de Jesus, uh, knock out Anderson Silva in 24 seconds. <laughs> yes. So everybody just go check it out for see if it's Spider-Man, but it's not <laughs> Spider-Man. It's another guy. <laughs> it's great. It's like, it would be like, uh, it'd be like playing in your local rec league um, uh, softball team and hitting a home run off of some guy who was just happening to be named Roger Clemens. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. But but that but but that video propelled you into a. Di I mean, marketers started calling. You started yeah. having sponsors calling. Forget the fact that it wasn't Spider Man Anderson Silva. It was some dude named Anderson Silva. You started getting attention from this, and that's never a bad thing. Yeah, evening evening is not Anderson Silva. The Spider Man. Uh, I think the knockout is a uh, very interesting, like so fast and yeah, very technical. Uh, so this opened a lot of doors for. Good events, uh, good promotions, and uh, some sponsors. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Vinny, let's talk a little about Karen West, your promoter. Uh, yeah, we yeah. hear we hear uh, so much about how she really takes care of her fighters, um, and that there's so many other promotion promoters that don't do that as much as she does. What's the difference, and what's it like uh, doing fights for Karen? You know, uh, this is very true. Uh, much much promotion don't don't take care so much about the fighters, mm -hmm. uh, but. I'm filled with so much luck. She always brings me so much attention. Yep. She's very be careful with me. My wife is best friend of her. Nice. <laughs> last last fight. My wife is everywhere. <laughs> you know what you're doing here? Oh, can't let me go out here. Oh, okay. So okay, you're the best friend now. There we go. So no. Joke is up joke is for part, but uh I think it's very important. Like you got some promotion then. Mm -hmm. Have a good a good uh relation with the fighters mm -hmm. for you know we feel comfortable you always m try to make your best inside there uh, and you want to stay with pro good promotion you don't want to change for a bad promotion so right. you, you got a bad promotion ah okay one time next time Move i, know, I don't yep. want to go there now, the last time we saw you, uh, you were winning a really incredibly interesting, contrasting fight in the last Premier Fighting Championship event um, just a couple of months ago. Yeah. That was PFC 18. It was uh, you against G uh, Gil, and again, his last name escapes uh, me. Pinheiro. Yeah, Pinheiro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was really interesting because uh, the, the way that that fight started, I mean, so much of it, we look at body types as you come down, and you're, you know, you're a sculpted dude, you're you know, about 25, just in yeah, yeah, yeah. prime fighting shape, and Gil, bless his heart, great fighter. Sort of looked like if I were going to be walking down to fight Vinny De Jesus, and um, and and the fight went really interestingly because he hung around. He was one tough sob. Yeah. And so I'm wondering, from fight to fight, how important is it for you to watch tape so you aren't sort of fooled by the initial optics of seeing a guy? You see a guy and you immediately judge him, but if you've done your homework and if you've watched the videos on guys. Fight. You know what to expect from their style. That's got to be part of the preparation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is much important in your preparation. Uh, I watch. I don't watch so much videos about him, but because he don't have it. Sure. He don't have like pro, amazing YouTube, like for you find. Uh huh. But 
uh, a couple of videos I see, uh, he's aggressive. Uh -huh. uh, he coming for the everything or nothing. Yep. And I come with myself pre prepared for this. Like for he coming for try and knock me down. Uh -huh. So I need to play a little uh, smart yep. with him for get out and got a good shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he got me a lot of good shots. He did. He did it, yes. After I feel my head a little bit. <laughs> it yeah. hurts after. He got me a good overhands all the time, a good low kicks. And of course, you always train for jump inside the cage and killed another guy. Yep. But you need to be prepared for maybe he have a good answer yeah. for you. And now your your celebration after you're done is something that I mean I, it's got a, it's one of my favorite. It's it's jump to the top of the cage, straddle the top of the cage, you know, arms to the sky. Is that just sort of naturally what happens or or did you did you work that out in your early part of your career? No, no, no. Uh, it's very natural. Yeah, yeah. It looks it. Yeah. Uh, when I jump in the cage, um I want to feel the feel everything like uh -huh. the energy by my per my people I invite to come in then other people just to watch the fight. I feel so much energy and I try to to pass the same energy for my for the public. Uh, Vinny, I mean, you, you started off boxing, and yeah. now you're MMA. And of course, obviously, now you know boxing. You know the the Mayweather, Pacquiao. That still gets all the attention in the world. But can we say right now that MMA is officially past boxing now in in the, in the public side? Depends. It's a very. It's diff, tough because I'm sure boxing is close to your heart. Yeah, uh, <laughs> MMA is a, have much a lot of part in the, both public boxing and MMA, but boxing still have a, a different public. So so much people really love boxing, don't like MMA. You know, so I I think right now MMA is is the is most popular TED boxing, because boxing a long time ago have is the most popular. Sports uh, of fight, but I think now MMA have a very good time everywhere, ever, ever countries. Vinny, we appreciate you so much. We appreciate uh, you coming down. I appreciate you. It's, it's been such a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. we, we look forward. We will be there next week, uh, February the 20th, at the PFC Premier Fighting Championships 19. I want everyone to go to the premierfc.com. You can see Vinny De Jesus uh, fight alongside uh, guys like Blair Tugman we had in, Will Knight a couple days ago. Going to uh, punctuate this card that is going to start at 7 p.m. and go deep into the night in Aguam. So, Vinny De Jesus, thanks so much, brother. Thanks so much, everyone. And. Next week, February 20, I want to see everybody in the effort bring me a good energy. Thanks, this, guys. Uh, Vin, Vinny De Jesus could be mayor of any town in the Valley. <laughs> I'm telling you, let's bring in the First Lady of Mixed Martial Arts here in the Valley, Karen Wesh. Karen, uh, thanks so much for battling traffic on 91. Anybody it is who is excited about the casino coming here does not travel on 91. <laughs>